How's it going guys? Happy Monday to each and every one of you. It's John here from Phone Dog and welcome to Weekly Bone! Man, it just gets worse and worse every single time. If you didn't catch that Weekly Bone, it's a little show here on the internet where I round up all the news reported by our awesome Phone Dog crew. Got a monday rific episode for you guys today, so let's get started. Mark your calendars as the Samsung Galaxy Tab is rumored to be coming on November 10th for T-Mobile according to TMONews.com. It's rumored to be launching for $400 on contract contract or $650 off contract. Some of the features, of course, would be that it has a 7-inch touchscreen interface, Android 2.2 with flash support, Wi-Fi, and oh yes, it's ultra portable and it only weighs one pound! Speaking of tablets, Taylor Martin from P-Dog wrote an interesting article about the HP Slate or HP Slate 500. The difference between the Slate and say the iPad or the Galaxy Tab would be that the Slate is running a full operating system, Windows 7. Now there are a few drawbacks such as no 3G and uh, the hefty price tag, but I can kind of to see the benefit of having a full operating system in tablet form? No, I don't know. I still don't get this whole tablet thing. A laptop is a portable computer, a netbook is like a smaller version of the laptop, and a tablet is like a touchy touchy version of a netbook. But then again, smartphones are like portable computers too, so they're like mini tablets. For example, let's look at Apple products. The iPhone is sort of like a mini iPad, and the iPad is the tablet version of the MacBook Air, and the MacBook Air is a netbook version of the MacBook Pro, and the MacBook Pro is a portable version of the iMac, and the iMac is a condensed version of the Mac Pro but with a monitor. That makes sense to me. But why would you need all those things? You don't. But what can I say? People like to buy things. Aaron provides his top five Android smartphones. Ranking at number one would be the HTC G2 from T-Mobile. Fancy that. Followed by the HTC Evo 4G and so on. Aaron also gets busy with the BlackBerry Pearl 3G from AT&T as he unboxes it with style. And plus, his hairstyle makes things look oh so extra stylish and fancy. Aaron also reviews the Motorola Flipout it's called the flip out because, you know, it flips out. Ha 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 ha! So funny! Flips out. Ha ha. Hence the name, you know. Whatever. I thought it was clever. So damn literal. Mitch Hedberg. So awesome. <laughs> Make sure to check that out. Sydney! Unboxes the LG Encore, a rather standard touchscreen messaging phone. Sydney also unboxes the Sanyo Vero, a rather basic phone, but according to Sydney, has some style. You can check out the full written review of the Vero on PhoneDog.com, written by the one and only Sydney. Spelt, of course, with five Ys and in all caps. I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com. Let's go check it out. Yeah, you are. You tell him, girl. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little webisode for Android content. You can check out DroidDog.com. And for iPhone content, today's iPhone.com. Don't forget about BeBerryDog and, of course, TimoNews.com. If you're a Facebook user, you can check us out at Facebook.com slash PhoneDog for the latest news and for future giveaways. Stay tuned for that. This was John from PhoneDog, and I'll see you guys in the next video.